In this video, we're going to break down four different passing combinations with speed passing, pressure passing, and even using submissions to pass the guard. Enjoy! Start the drill by circling your legs to get rid of your opponent hooks. Hop over your opponent's legs to close the distance. The moment he frames your shoulder, you can close the body lock and secure the pass. Pull his hips towards you to get his shoulder on the mat. To easily get rid of the hooks, you want to turn your knee towards the inside and circle your legs. When you hop over his legs, try to really close the distance to create the right reaction. The moment your opponent will try to frame, he exposes a gap to close the body lock and secure the pass. The next drill will start the same, but after jumping to the side, we're going to move to the other side for a fast knee slide. Pull your opponent's knees and slide forward. With one hand, punch the underhook in front of your opponent's belly, and the second hand, get an overhook grip over your opponent's shoulder. Use this grip to top spin over your opponent and get a syllable grip to secure the pass. You can finish in a side control or you can attack the back. Next up, we're going to use our opponent's reaction to attack a submission and pass the guard. The most common reaction after attacking the knee slide is for your opponent to get the underhook. Use your free hand to get the front headlock. Roll over your shoulder and end up in an inverted north-south position. To secure the anaconda choke, you want to grab your opponent's hand with your legs, fall to the side, close your hands and walk back into your opponent's legs to finish the choke. Lastly, we're going to combine speed passing with pressure passing. Starting with the same movements, jumping out of our opponent's guards and trapping his legs in the headquarters position. Make sure to trap one of his legs in between your legs and pin his knee to the floor with your knee. This will enable you to get closest to his hip and close the body lock. Slide into half guard, peel his leg and slide right up into side control. To get a good body lock grip, you want to turn your opponent to the side when you slide into half guard. This will expose his back and you can then lock the body lock. To get free of the half guard, you want to stick your hook behind his knee and slide right out. In my opinion, the body lock is one of the best ways to pass the guard, especially when you're fighting without the gi. So grab a drilling partner and try it out for yourself. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to get notified about my upcoming videos. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram to see more Jiu Jitsu content. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.